great. Operation manual. Scalable, repeatable, and you're working on your business, not in your business. So what we've done is we've printed out the landlord sourcing operation manual that we currently use, um, and it's in your, in your um, slides. Now, on our slide, for some reason, we've got the graphic has just dropped off today, which is very kind of it. But basically, we put, this is how we do it. Here are the websites we use, so admin websites. Please do consider copying our thing that we've given you and um, spare room, username, password, username, password, text tank, Gumtree, and then the email address that we use. Why? Because basically the document guides you to collect, and then we say the, what the purpose is. The purpose of the document is to guide you to collect landlord names and mobile numbers from databases, so from websites where they advertise property for rent. Simple. So this can be done anywhere in the world. And right now it's being done in Hyderabad, in India. I was just about to say that with that card you then go on to India. Absolutely. to work with that one piece of Absolutely. So we currently have 17 team members in the UK and five team members in uh, India, Sri Lanka and Pakistan and Indonesia. Just a question. How much do you pay your VAs uh, so we, um, if you've ever used Upwork before, it feels a bit kind of scary because you've never used it. I always look at, have they done over a thousand hours of work? I always look at, are they 95% and above rated? And if not, I won't use them. And then I then spend a good cup of tea reading all the reviews to make sure that they're not kind of daft reviews, they're really good reviews. And then I test them out. Uh, and so my guys are between kind of $5 an hour and about uh, $11 an hour, which starts about £2.56 an hour upwards. My mum has started only using the ones where she can watch their screen. Absolutely. So Upwork has a system. It's great. And um, where every seven or eight minutes, you, you can see their screen. So I have no doubt that they are um, completely honest and delivering because if I want to, I can look at their work diary and see their screen. Uh, She's set the few because they keep watching movies. <laughs> <laughs> so even though they know the screen's been watched, they watch me. I've never had a movie watcher yet. <laughs> um, two, she'll go on, she'll, she'll, she'll recheck them. And yes. Them, you know, they're watching the latest. <laughs> I'm more so in love with the internet. I go on to look at their screen more, less out of mistrust and more of like, isn't this amazing? I'm looking at, you know, Aegis work in Sri Lanka right now. Isn't this stunning? So I've, I've never yet caught a, 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 a watcher. One thing though, if you are going to get them to text out, which we do for our tenants, they scrape tenant numbers and then they text out a set message that we've already created, you need some rules. Rules that you wouldn't consider needing in the UK, such as, Please do not text our tenants at 6 a.m. in the morning. Please text at 12.30 UK time, lunchtime. Because we did text out, or Sugaro did text out 250 tenant leads saying, hi, we saw that you're looking for a room. We can really help you, you know, with all the URLs for the smartphones at um, 6.45 a.m. We got quite a few responses and they were not positive, you know. So just be conscious of certain rules. But you know what? You'll get those rules, you know. These things will happen and then you'll set the rule. You know, ow, that hurt. Let's not do that again.